Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today we will be asking Spirit, what are they thinking and feeling? Okay, so the person on your mind, what are they thinking about you, feeling inside? Uh, this is of course at the soul level, so deep within, okay? Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. Please remember to like the video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. So for today, I have pulled three cards from the Energy Oracle and we have three crystals as well. For crystal number one, we have the Howlite Crystal with Action. For crystal number two, we have the Lapis Lazuli Crystal with Caring Connections. And for crystal number three, we have the Amethyst Crystal with the garden and the gate. Okay, so choose which crystal or card resonates with you most. Always keep in mind these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Those messages could be for someone else, okay? Also, these are timeless, so whenever Spirit puts it in your path is when the messages are meant for you, so the published date really doesn't matter. Okay, guys? Choose however you'd like, and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the Howlite crystal, and the action card, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number one. So your person is feeling very inspired at this time to take action in this connection. So there's some sort of change happening or some sort of action that they're feeling they need to take. Okay, so let's get more with the tarot for crystal number one. What is that person thinking and feeling? The hanged man. Yeah, so they're feeling like they have to let go of something. Surrendering to the universe here. Your person is accepting something in their life needs to change. What are they thinking and feeling about crystal number one, please? They might also feel like you've let go of them for some of you. Multiple messages coming through. Again, a general reading, so always keep that in mind. The chariot. Yeah, they were feeling pulled in two directions. They had way too much on their plate. Their focus was split. Hmm. So for some of you, you might have felt like this person wasn't giving you their undivided attention or love you know they weren't really focused on you yeah there was some sort of conflict yeah they were yeah there's some sort of conflict here uh kind of causing your person to split their attention but now they're wanting more so I feel like they're letting go of whatever is no longer serving them here and moving forward toward you. Now, I'm, I'm really feeling here that for some of you, this is a twin flame. We have a black and white horse and horses might be relevant to you. Or maybe you're looking for a sign. We have a black and white horse in this card and a black and white horse in this card. So very, very powerful synchronicity there as well. Yeah, temperance. So there's, this has taken quite some time. And they're wanting to move forward now with the Three of Wands. They're looking at the horizon here, knowing that there's more available. These cards, both of these cards are kind of about waiting and being patient as well. So I feel like they feel like you've been extremely patient with them. You're balanced 
Yeah, you're very balanced. Um, energetically, you're calm, you're cool, collected kind of energy, okay? You're not freaking out, <laughs> okay, uh, is what I'm getting here. But they've been waiting to do this for quite some time to choose this direction or take this action, whatever this is. Okay, let's get more. So we have the hanged man for crystal number one. What is that person thinking and feeling? And always keep in mind their thoughts and their, their thoughts are not always about you. Their thoughts are about other things too. Um, but they're thinking, mm, nice, six of wands, so success. But they're thinking here about wanting more for themselves, leaving behind something that no longer serves them and moving towards success. So they do feel like you're a good match for them. Like your connection would be a success. Let's see what else. The chariot. P feeling pulled in two directions. Yeah, they see. For some of you, this is a twin flame, I feel. Two of Cups is a powerful twin flame reunion card. This is about deep, powerful love. It doesn't have to be a twin flame, though. It could be about two people deeply in love. It could be a soulmate, even. Um, two people deeply in love wanting to be in union. So they're wanting to choose that direction, take that step toward, take that action toward union. So this is really good energy here. They're wanting to, you know, get more out of life, overcome this conflict. So this person is very much in love with you, with the Two of Cups. They're wanting to be in a partnership with you, you know, an actual relationship. Five of Wands. Why the Five of Wands for Crystal number one, please? Why the Five of Wands for Crystal number one? Yeah, they're definitely wanting more for themselves. I feel like with this card, they know now that something isn't serving them. And this card here, they're, they're leaving it behind because they know it's no longer serving them. Five of Wands, nothing wants to come out for the Five of Wands. Can I get a clarifier for crystal number one on the Five of Wands? Thank you. Whoa, now I'm dropping a bunch. Okay. I don't know. These flipped too. All right. We have a bunch here. <laughs> okay. So there's a bunch. Two flipped in the deck. Two fell out. So we'll just go over them one at a time and see what we have. So four of one. Whoa. Oh, and look at how they both came out. Ooh, they came out with reciprocity in the middle. <laughs> Sorry. I just dropped the four of wands because this really caught my eye. The Emperor and the Empress with Six of Pentacles in the middle. This is the card of reciprocity, wanting to give back, equal give and take. The Emperor is the Divine Masculine. The Empress is the Divine Feminine, okay? So, wow, they are feeling a lot of deep, powerful love. They're feeling pretty strong and, you know, very driven, like this first card said, right? They're very inspired to take that action, and get better for themselves here. Wow. And then the four of wands could mean that they want commitment with you. Okay. A stable foundation. Wow. No wonder why spirit gave me all those together. Very, very powerful. I don't even know if you can see all those. Probably not. <laughs> there we go. That might be a little better. Okay. Well, let's get more for crystal number one. Three of three of wands temperance. Moving forward to Yeah, wow. Passionate new start. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so this person's extremely passionate about you. They know that this connection will be a success. They know that you're a good match. This is beautiful energy. I do feel like for some of you, this is a powerful soul connection, okay? Uh, like I said, it could be a soulmate or a twin flame, but there's a lot of passion, intensity, desire to move forward now after their period of waiting. Inspired action, yeah, wow. Hmm. This person I feel is very focused on that forward action. Let's get oracle cards out, please, for crystal number one. 
What is crystal number one's person thinking and feeling? Thought I had a flipper, but nope, there we go. We, ah, wow, nice. You make them extremely happy to dance with joy. Yeah, they want to be with you. This person just wants to come closer to dance with joy. You make them feel so happy and blissful inside. Oh, we got two. Peace. Catalyst. Ooh, wow. Yeah, you've inspired them, okay, with Catalyst. Uh, eternal connection here with this... Um, Infinity symbol, there's an eternal connection between you, for some of you. You've really inspired them for change with Catalyst. And you bring them a sense of peace within that's unmatched, okay? They've never felt so peaceful when around someone or in their energy. You have very healing energy. And this person really appreciates that about you. Let's get more for crystal number one. What is their person thinking and feeling? We have this one here. And it is. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Yeah. So you are where their heart wants to be is what I'm feeling here. They want to be true to you. They may have been making decisions in the past based on guilt from other people in their lives. Now they're wanting to follow their heart. Very, very nice. What is crystal number one's person thinking and feeling at this time? We have epiphany. So yeah, they've woken up to something. Yeah, they've had some sort of a realization of some sort, okay? Uh, could be, you know, realizing and accepting that something isn't serving them in their life anymore. And realizing the need to move forward. What else for crystal number one? What is this person thinking and feeling? For crystal number one. Ooh, yeah. Make time for self-love. So I feel like your person really thinks that you're very self-loving. You take good care of yourself. I feel that could be why they're feeling kind of like drawn to you, inspired by you, because you make the best decisions for yourself. Okay. And they're kind of like following your lead almost. Okay. What I'm kind of feeling there. Beautiful. Very, very nice energy. What else for crystal number one? What is their person thinking and feeling? Whoa. All right. I think we got a few here too. <laughs> we do. We got like three. Okay. The land between. Yeah. That's, you know, them being pulled in two directions. Okay. They are um, dealing with something there. Okay. So they might not be 100% hyper focused on you. But just know that you're in deep in their heart. And very much they're attracted to you and want to be with you. Now, Grand Symphony, something big is about to shift and change. And this is where they might have had this epiphany. They might have quieted the mind. Okay, they were feeling maybe a little bit conflicted, right? With this Five of Wands, kind of, that's about kind of conflict. Um, you know, so maybe inside they were unsure at some point. They quieted the mind, had this epiphany, and now they've accepted this as need for change, right? So whatever it is that they're letting go of, I feel like it's for their better. It's for their highest good. They realize that there's more and better for them in a grand symphony. It's going to be a big shift or change, something big that they're feeling here. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number one, what is their person thinking and feeling? Ah, overcome. I'm trying to read it upside down. It's not working. I'm just going to put the deck back and then read it. <laughs> Rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. Yeah, so see, 
they're feeling strong enough to overcome obstacles. There could be an obstacle in your connection that they know that they can overcome with you, you know, overcome it together. Yeah, they're feeling pretty, again, emperor energy. They're feeling pretty strong here. I feel like this person has really done a lot of inner work. So I think they feel like this is extremely important to them as well, this connection with you. Let's get more for crystal number one. What is their person thinking and feeling? All right, I guess two want to come out together here. Mm, yeah, see, they see the treasure in this connection. Um, they see it as beautiful, bright, happy for the future. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Within this person, there is a lot of love to give. They want to uncover that treasure and give it to you. Fogged in, go slow, take time. So they do want to take it slow with you, though. They don't want to rush things um, when they do come in. It could be a big change, but they're wanting to... Oh, my pupper's having a dream back there. I don't know if you could hear her. She was like... Mm. And there's my phone ringing. <laughs> Somebody getting a phone call. <laughs> that Those things kind of happen. Uh, and then it's so funny because a lot of times on the other end, you guys are getting the same things happening. So it's kind of cool. Um, thought that was on silent and it wasn't. But anyway, back to Fogged In. Um, they want to go slow and take time. Even though it may be a big change, they want to take it like one step at a time. Okay. So not like all rushing and trying to get many things accomplished at one time. It's just kind of like, you know, I feel like this person might have been pulled in multiple directions for quite some time. And now they kind of just want to have peace and focus on one path, you know, uh, one thing at a time, day at a time, live in the moment. Okay. Very powerful message there coming through. Let's get more. What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number one? What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number one? We go the distance. Yeah, see, they know that this is long term. Four of Wands suggests that they wanted to possibly, you know, marry you, set a stable foundation. They know that this connection is you know, going to turn out to be a success. They know it will go the distance. Um, I feel like with obstacles too, you guys will overcome anything together with Rhino Spirit, both being very strong in spirit. Okay, very, very nice. Let's get more. What are they thinking and feeling? For crystal number one. Ooh, have faith. Yeah, see, so they have faith in the divine here. Card 22. They have faith that you are their person um, and that everything will work out. This will be a success. That even though the steps forward may have been slow in the past and maybe in the future, things will all turn out for the best for everyone. Wow, pretty powerful message there. So for some of you, it may have been very slow in the past and maybe they've given up hope or faith that, you know, things could change in their life. But now they're feeling like they have a, a strong faith that everything will work out here. Hmm, nice. Yeah, I feel like you have a big part of that. Like you've inspired this person so they see your strength and I feel like it helps them. What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number one? What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number one? Whoa. <laughs> Be spontaneous. Ooh, so they're wanting to have a little fun here with this card. They are wanting to kind of have some sort of spontaneous like adventure meeting. Maybe even a date for some of you, okay? They may be like maybe asking you out on a date or to spend some time with them. 
but this could come as quite a surprise is kind of what I'm getting there with that be spontaneous they might not plan that they might be like in the moment just kind of feel like I want to call crystal number one and ask them to whatever it is you know um, could be a lot of different things for a lot of different people out there but yeah it's like one of those energies there spur of the moment type of thing okay abundance nice so they are feeling very abundant um and this is not only about money this is about things in life feeling grateful okay for the things that they already have and knowing that more will come from it they feel together that you could build a very beautiful life wow nice very nice Yep, baby Kira woke up back there. <laughs> That's my dog for anyone who hasn't watched before. That is my dog. What else for crystal number one? What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number one? Compassion. Mm. Yeah, they see you as very compassionate understanding and they're seeing things from a whole new perspective too yeah they see you as very kind nurturing loving yeah they're very drawn to your beautiful energy with that card there um, feeling very very attached to the way you make them feel you know like they they feel like this is the way it should be if that makes sense i guess i mean that's it's kind of like what i mean like this is how it should be for me like this person is feeling like this is how i should have been treated all along you know so maybe in the past they weren't treated that way they they didn't feel that beautiful loving energy that you provide and now they're feeling very fortunate and grateful to have you absolutely beautiful okay crystal number one well that is what i have for you for today i really hope that this reading was helpful please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading if you resonated with crystal number two the lapis lazuli crystal and the care and connections card this will be your reading okay crystal number two so immediately what I got from this card was your person cares for you and loves you very, very deeply. They see a future with you too. And they're believing that they're, you're meant to be together. Okay. So they have a strong belief that you belong together, that you are their person. Okay. So let's get some tarot here for crystal number two. Always keep in mind general reading. So not all messages will resonate for everyone. Okay. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. For crystal number two, what is their person's thoughts and feelings at this time? What is their person think, thinking and feeling at this time? Ooh, there might be some distance right now due to other people. Okay, so this could possibly be a third party situation for some of you. Could be a romantic connection that they're trying to disconnect from here. Holding back their energy from it. But they're also holding back their energy from you, I'm feeling too. Okay. So they might be thinking a little bit along the lines of, I need to take care of this. So they might not be focused on you too much right now. Okay. Um, Sorry, don't shoot the messenger, but they might not be focused on you too much right now, but deep in their heart, they uh, do care very, very deeply for you. Hanged man, wow. Hmm. Yeah, so they're letting go. They are letting go of this, okay? Not you. They're letting go of this situation. They've surrendered now. Okay, so 
I feel like right now your person might not be communicating, okay? They might be... In this situation here, they might be trying to figure out what to do. They're accepting it now. So I feel like in the past, they might not have accepted that this situation had to end. They might have been trying to hold on to their past, okay? Um, could have been kind of emotionally distant at some point. Well, that's weird. The light thing just went off. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, the light went off. So that might mean something. Okay, and now it's back on. So um, I just wanted to see if something was wrong with it there. But now it's it, the light went off. So there was a reason for that. I don't know why. Um, it's still working. So I feel like at some point that that makes that there's something to do with this here. It's like what I'm feeling is that the light you might have thought like the light went off in this person. They might have seemed, again, emotionally distant. They may have even pushed you away at some point. But what I'm feeling here today, and this, and this, so far with these energies, is that they're accepting that they have to let go of something in their past in order to get to this happiness that they deserve and that they know is with you. They know they have to let go of something. So they may have, like I said, in the past, the light could have gone out, meaning that you might have felt like this connection was over. You know, you might have walked away from it. Um, or maybe even, maybe you didn't walk away from it, but maybe you just felt like there was no hope. Wow, look at this. But they're feeling that love deep within, okay? This is what I see now. So the light going off was their past where they were emotionally disconnected and now they're opening their heart ace of cups this person is in love with you okay with the ace of cups coming out what are they thinking and feeling about you they want to offer you love this is beautiful heart fulfillment you make them feel so full beautiful alive okay so but again, I do feel like there's been, if, if not right now in the n recent past, maybe there was some sort of distance and cold behavior type of energy coming through from them. Can I get more for crystal number two? What is the person thinking and feeling at this time? So this surrender, this hanged man is a huge energy to come through. This means that, you know, they may have been holding back in the past from you. I am feeling that they're holding back from someone else in their life right now as well, because those two came out together. And that might be because they know they have to let it go. It's just like it's not serving them anymore. Your cards are coming out very slowly. So I do feel like that means something as well. I feel like this has been an ongoing connection or, you know, something between you two was slow, slow moving, <laughs> okay? Maybe it was expression of feelings or, again, distance. I feel like there was definitely distance. This card, okay, okay. <laughs> The Four of Wands, I feel like it's necessary here with the death and rebirth together. This one was on the, at the bottom multiple times. Every time like I went to go reshuffle, like I shuffle like this. I don't know, you can't really see, but I do this, right? So then the bottom card gets mixed in. It came at the bottom twice when I go to straighten them out. I noticed it once, but I kept going. And then it, it appeared at the bottom again, and I feel like it's relevant here. There could be a marriage ending for someone with this one being right next to this one at the bottom um, or some sort of solid foundation in their life that needs to end, okay? It doesn't have to be a marriage, but with the Four of Wands, um, it, can, it can indicate marriage, but it's also about solid foundations, um, 
it's also about celebration too so there's a lot of different messages coming through here so with this one the death something having to end the rebirth could be a celebration you know a soul celebration Ooh, a soul celebration wow okay powerful there's a lot going on here is what i feel <laughs> there's a lot going on within this person okay let's see four of pentacles three of cups four of pentacles three of cups for crystal number two what is that person thinking and feeling I just eyeballed the Knight of Cups at the bottom. <laughs> That's a, a love offer, but I didn't feel like if it showed, if it showed up again, <laughs> if it showed up again, I would have pulled it. But it's funny how I just noticed that one and then this one comes out. The Hierophant. Yeah, so... For some of you, it is... This person is detaching from a possible commitment in their life, okay? Again, it could be multiple things. This is about commitment, marriage, it could be, but it could also be other commitments. So for some of you, I feel like it could be a marriage. And then for others of you, I feel like maybe it's not a marriage, but it is something that they know and have accepted has to end okay let's get more <laughs> for crystal number two wow this is pretty intense intense tarot we haven't even gotten to oracle yet <laughs> what are they thinking and feeling i feel like their love for you is so powerful with that care and connections and that could be why they they know they they don't want to lose this is what i feel okay they don't want to lose this opportunity hanged man please hanged man for crystal number two why the hanged man what is that person thank you what is that person thinking and feeling yeah see high priestess they they intuitively know that this is the right move okay they they definitely have to let go and they know it okay ace okay ace of cups like i think three are here one <laughs> sun king of cups and page of wands wow this is pretty exciting so wow ace of cups so they love you they they are this king of cups is a beautiful love uh, unconditional love deep powerful love they could be quieting their mind at this time as well they might be trying to calm the thoughts down okay um but their feelings are coming through pretty strongly here um with the sun energy too you make them extremely happy and they're very passionate about you with the page of wands you may be hearing from this person if even if there has been distance with this page of wands i feel like you might be hearing from them soon king of cups beautiful energy of unconditional love and the sun energy is a beautiful happiness inner child happiness like again they just you make them that happy where they know that you're their person with that first card out and they know that this is the right path ahead and that they have to leave this path behind or uh, the past behind rather um, in order to move forward four of wands death four of wands death please four of wands death seven of pentacles three of pentacles okay so they want to work together with you i feel here working together with others this or whatever this is that's coming to an end might require the help of others but they are wanting to invest in their future okay so they are thinking about the future with you here with the seven of pentacles they're wanting to build um, again, Four of Wands is about solid foundations and also marriage. So they may be wanting to build a solid connection that leads to long term. Okay, let's get more with the Oracle. Yep, Memories of the Forgotten Self. 
Yeah, so they're having to leave this stuff behind and they're knowing it, okay? They could be reminiscing on the past, which could have maybe kept them stuck for a while, is what I'm feeling there. For some of you also, this could be a past life connection that you share with this person. They could really feel like you are... Okay, this is profound too. Wow, there's a lot of synchronicities in this reading. So... As I put the, as I straighten this out, after shuffling and these two flew out, I noticed her at the bottom. Okay, as I put her away. But here is the Majesty card. <laughs> so she's coming out of the deck now. <laughs> because these two are the same energy for me, okay? So this is a double synchronicity in my opinion. Um, saying that this person really does love you deeply. They're wanting to build with you. For some of you, they may even want to build a family. Uh, they want to love and nurture this connection, okay, with majesty and, like I said, seeing that empress come out at the bottom there when I was putting her down, majesty being that empress energy, so they really do feel that love, that desire to nurture this connection. All right, let's get more. For crystal number two, what is that person thinking and feeling? Yeah, they see you as extremely beautiful as well. I think we got two here. Okay, we have this one that I can't really show you and this one. So we'll do... This one first, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Yeah, so this person um, is finding themselves in a situation where they're not feeling joy and realizing that they need to let go of it to move forward. Mm, romance nice so they're wanting to come Ooh, there's that passion again maybe a message with this page of wands very passionate energy they are feeling uh like they want to come next be next to you romance you cupid's arrow strikes Ooh, nice what are they thinking and feeling for crystal number two at this time what are they thinking and feeling for crystal number two? Ooh, lovers. Yeah, this is deep, powerful soul love they're feeling. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, they feel a lot of deep emotion for you. The lovers card. They choose you. Hmm. Beautiful. I just seen 1111 on my timer, which isn't the correct time because sometimes uh, if I have to pause the video, I forget to restart it. So it is what it is. I don't really pay attention to it too much, but I do like it there. And I do like when the synchronicities come through. Um, Spirit bringing my attention to those at the exact time necessary for some of you for signs and things like that. Capricorn. And step up and lead. Ooh, so they are feeling, again, they're feeling like that passion to come forward. They want to do something. Take charge. Invest in this connection. Nurture the bond. Beautiful. Very nice messages there. Ooh, very nice message here flew out too body and soul yeah so they feel this deep soul bond with you again for some of you soulmate or twin flame possibly uh, definitely feeling that deep powerful soul bond with you yeah like nothing could ever come between you okay wow very nice okay let's get more for crystal number two what is their person thinking and feeling Ooh. Think on your feet. Ooh, so they're quick on their feet. They're thinking fast. They're getting through. There's something that, that they're kind of having to think on their feet. Move quickly. Could be something in their life. 
that yeah to having to kind of navigate quickly take it as it resonates okay could be something that you know about possibly but they're thinking on their feet they're making quick decisions Fox spirit. Okay, let's see what else. For crystal number two. Hmm, downsizing. Traveling lightly. Simplify your life. They may be, right now, they may be feeling a lot lighter because I feel like they're downsizing or decluttering or getting rid of things like from their past, right? They're kind of clearing out that closet or those belongings or you know something like that so they're feeling a lot lighter their energy is lighter so that's a good thing to move forward releasing that old negative stagnant energy what else oh soulmates yeah i knew it yeah they definitely feel this deep soul bond with you um falling right over body and soul Okay, they do feel it. They feel the love. It's very, very powerful. Very powerful. Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Care and Connections even. Very, very powerful um, love that they're feeling. We have two here. Yeah. Love and have faith. They have faith in your love. See? So their thought process is everything's going to work out because we're meant to be together. Wow. Powerful, straightforward message there. Everything is going to work out because we're meant to be together. So they're having faith in the divine here. So very, very good energy. Hope. Yep, hope for the future. You've given them hope and inspiration that, you know, they can be happy. They can feel this blissful energy. Wow. Beautiful. This person feels very deeply. They're secure. Okay. Security. So they feel like with you, with you, they can build something solid, okay, with security. This is something that will stand the test of time. They want to keep you safe, too. Yeah, there's a deep level of care from this person to you. They care about you very, very deeply. They want to keep you safe, protect you hold you in their arms oh, Cupid's arrow they want to romance you oops <laughs> ooh nice so they're feeling very appreciative of you graciously accept gracious acceptance is a way to show love yeah so they're accepting that they need a change in their life. They're accepting that, you know, this love that they feel for you is real and true. And they're super appreciative that you've been extremely patient with them is what I'm feeling here. Um, yeah, for some of you, I feel like, you know, the cards are being slow and things like that. I feel like, you know, maybe you were kind of waiting not waiting like sitting on your couch going when are they going to show up like that's not what we mean when we say waiting holding space and waiting are two different things okay waiting is just sitting on the couch wondering when they're going to show up holding space is continuing to live your life focusing on yourself um but really holding space for this person and being there for them emotionally and you know energetically when they you know connect with you hmm. and they feel extremely appreciative of that so they might not have experienced this type of love in the past this could be like a first time powerful love that they're feeling okay crystal number two well that is what i have for you for today i really hope that this reading was helpful please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading If you resonated with crystal number three, the amethyst crystal, 
and the garden and the gate card this will be your reading okay crystal number three so what came through here for you is their feelings keep getting stronger and stronger and they're wanting to grow and build something solid for the future so they feel pretty deeply about you is what i'm already feeling with that first card out very very powerful energy okay let's see what the tarot has to say for crystal number three what are they thinking and feeling about crystal number three justice they want to give you what you deserve yeah and they want to work together to build and grow wow they want to grow with you build with you you know three of pentacles collaborations so working together to bring you what you deserve they know that you deserve the world mm, this person you're very high on their list here very very powerful love they're feeling Mm, let's see they want to be balanced harmonious treat you like the queen that you are wow whoa whoa son <laughs> whoa whoa son fell out of the middle of the deck as i was about to keep shuffling so yeah you make them extremely happy they feel amazing when they even think about their future this is like inner child happiness, bliss, joy. It's absolutely beautiful. What are they thinking and feeling? With crystal number three, please. For crystal number three, what is their person thinking and feeling? With the justice card, um, there could be something that needs resolving here. Page of one. So they're very passionate about you. They may be talking to you soon here about something exciting. Hmm. They may have some exciting news for you soon. Is what's coming through there. Something that needs resolving. I'm almost feeling like sale of a home. Hmm. Maybe they were trying to sell their home. Maybe they're in a different location than you. And they're trying to sell their home so they can be with you. Mm, okay let's see what else what are they thinking and feeling and always keep in mind you know people's thoughts are not always on one thing in their life so this person isn't only thinking about you um they're thinking about other things as well you make them feel happy and they are wanting their feelings for you keep growing and getting stronger and they're wanting to work together to mm, oh so for some of you, what needs resolving is there's some sort of healing that's taking place where this person might not have been sharing their true feelings with you. Hmm. So for some of you, there is an element here of you're kind of unsure how they're feeling with this card like I feel like they make you happy with this light coming off the moon here I feel like you know maybe your light is shining on their darkness okay something about themselves that maybe they had to accept but they're not sharing feelings so it could be something that was needing healing and now it's coming into balance so that's a good sign that this card's coming out because that means that they're going to express their feelings coming out on justice. Give you what you deserve. Let you know how they feel, you know. Okay, let's see what else. For crystal number three. But their feelings keep growing and they're just, it's almost like they, they it's rising and rising and rising <laughs> within and it's about to like come out like they can't hold back anymore is kind of what i'm feeling here okay three of pentacles let's see they're wanting to work with you build with you grow with you we got two ace of cups Ooh, ace and nine of cups wow very nice okay so yeah they are wanting to offer love the ace of cups this person's in love with you um for sure even if they're not saying it ace of cups is a beautiful energy of heart fulfillment you make their wishes come true nine of cups 
They're wanting to work together to make your wishes come true too. Beautiful sun here in the background. Uh, shining light. Yeah, your light is shining brightly. They feel like you're their person. You're the one that they want to offer their heart to with that Ace of Cups. It would make every wish of theirs come true. Mm, wow. Very powerful. The sun. Let's see here. What? Why the sun for crystal number three? What is their person thinking and feeling for crystal number three? Seven of wands. Yeah, so they're, they could have been protecting. Mm, they can't speak. Okay, had to clear my throat there. It completely clogged up as soon as I started talking about this card. And I do feel like this person was protecting their energy. They were kind of holding back, okay, with the seven of wands. They were holding back something. Um, for some of you, it could be about protection for you. Uh, not sure exactly from what here, but you'll know if it if it resonates for you. But the seven of wands, I'm feeling they were holding back to protect their heart. They were fearful that if they expressed how deeply they felt for you, that maybe you didn't feel the same way. So this person could have been kind of, uh, had some sort of fear of rejection here, okay, in the past. That could be why they were holding back feelings and not speaking their truth page of wands but you do make them really happy and they're realizing this now um so i feel like they're willing to take that chance is kind of what i'm feeling yeah look at this page of wands the hard work is going to pay off so they do know that the work that they're doing on themselves and this could be them in meditation as well okay maybe being a little bit distant or holding back their energy from you but working on themselves okay uh that hard work paying off and now they're able to Share this exciting news. This exciting news. For some of you, it came through like purchase of a home, but maybe it's their feelings. Maybe you've been just waiting to hear like how they feel. And now they're feeling more prepared, more ready on the inside to deal with this. Because this is powerful. What they're feeling is extremely powerful. And it keeps, like I said, it keeps like rising up within them, wanting to come out. But I definitely feel like they're suppressing something, you know, because of some sort of fear. So they're working on that. And they're realizing that that hard work will pay off. So that is really good. Let's see what else. What are they thinking and feeling? We have hope flipped over okay so hope flipping so oops so you've given them hope for the future yeah like they really do feel like they could build something solid uh you're making their wishes come true they want to make your wishes come true too so this is like really feeling you know almost like this page of wands extreme and the sun card both of these cards they look so excited right i feel like you've You've kind of made this person realize that life can be beautiful and glorious and given them that hope for the future. Mm. You might, you must have really, really good energy to, um, mm. yeah, for them to feel that, right? Purification. Yeah. So that's what they're trying to do. So they are thinking about purifying their energy here. They're trying to clear out negativity and fear. Fear of speaking a truth. Mm, very nice. Okay, let's see what else for crystal number three. What is their person thinking and feeling? For crystal number three, what is their person thinking and feeling? Ooh, I see my beloved. Beautiful. Mm, could be a twin flame we're talking about here. This is a powerful spiritual connection, a very, very spiritual card coming through here. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For, he, uh, for love transcends time, space and time. Nothing is missing. 
And I feel like even if there is distance, you both feel each other's love very strongly when you interact. Okay, with that card there. You, even if the person isn't saying it to you, you feel it deep within is what I'm feeling there. They do too. That's why that card came through. Ooh, reunion. Nice. Yeah, so a coming back together. They want to come back together um, and really be one, okay, with reunion. Beautiful. So yeah, there may have been a time when they distanced to heal, you know, pulled back, didn't speak their truth. They were fearful of speaking it. My throat clogged up just now as I was talking about that again, and I had to stop the video and clear my throat. So yeah, I feel like they were definitely fearful of speaking that truth. What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number three? Card was, ooh, yeah, look nice. Yes, it's coming. I knew it. That could be the exciting news for some of you. Revealing what needs to be seen. Yes. So if you've been waiting for this person to express their feelings, I feel like they are really thinking about doing that. Okay. It's really, really strongly in their energy here. That was fast. I split the deck to start shuffling and this one fell out. So very urgent that this one's coming out wish upon a star yeah wow you've really opened their heart you really do fulfill this person's heart this little child here grabbing onto that heart chakra it's shining there they're feeling that love flowing and again wish upon a star you are like a wish come true you really are special to this person very beautiful Let's get more for crystal number three. Dear spirit. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so they're wanting to bring a gentle touch. They are thinking about being close to you, holding you, bringing a gentle touch to you and your connection, really wanting to forehead kiss. Oh, sweet forehead kiss coming through very very beautiful also this deer has feathers um, attached here so I feel like that's a sign for someone those feathers really standing out to me today hmm interesting okay so yeah deer spirit deer could also be um, indicative of something for you uh, or your connection, but this person really wanting to bring that gentle touch to this connection. So they're feeling like loving and nurturing this connection, you know, really putting the work into it. And we have two here. Wow, nice. Okay, Rejuvera rejuvenating rain. Clear the past, heal the present the past where they were fearful of speaking their truth okay they're clearing it out and it will help to heal the present because right now you might be like they won't tell me how they feel like I may be feeling confused like why is this person not speaking what they're feeling and then once they clear that past they're able to heal the connection between you by speaking that truth and surrendering to the journey um you know holding on to you know what's inside it's kind of like a form of control they're trying to control the connection by if I don't say anything I can't be rejected you understand so it's like they just don't say anything at all right but with this surrendering to the journey and releasing that control coming out with it I feel like this is now the time when this person is realizing that it's just surrender to the divine and have faith that if you speak your truth and this person leaves their life then that's what was meant to be if they speak their truth and that person remains in their life then that was what was meant to be they're coming to that realization is what I feel very nice so trying to rise above that fear I 
and I definitely feel like I said it's brewing it's it's bubbling to the surface here with this person it's really wanting to come to the surface what is crystal number three's person thoughts what are their thoughts and feelings for crystal number three please at this time what is their person's thoughts and feelings at this time for crystal number three there we go Ooh. Mm. yeah okay so for some of you i know it came through already here but this is another indication that this could be your twin flame they feel like you're, they're at home in your energy okay they feel that familiarity with you there's something really special here about the two of you you bring a sense of peace to this person they feel peace in your presence wow beautiful love that energy very very beautiful Okay, let's get more for crystal number three. What is their person thinking and feeling at this time? What is their person thinking and feeling at this time? Oops, got two. Oh, that one too? Hold on, that one was falling out. Ah, yeah, see? This one, I was going to put the deck back and this one slid out and fell out on top of the two that are already out and yeah see say what you mean ha so yeah they are wanting to say what they mean now that's after a period of healing and healing is on the bottom here isn't it yes it is see yeah after a period of healing we're going to take that one too okay because i feel like that one's relevant I uh, haven't even gotten to the two that came out with, with, the, with the shuffle, but these two really being important. Saying what you mean. So they want to say what they mean. They want to stop holding back. Like I said, they, it's brewing. It's really like bubbling to the surface here. Ooh. Ooh, nice. So... They are having a lot of dreams, uh, could be sexual dreams about you, fantasies, things like that, coming out together with temptation. These were the two that flew out together. Um, so I do feel like they're connected. Um, they feel like you're incredibly strong here too. Uh, with the dreams card, they might really tap into your inner strength um, and really kind of learn and grow from it is what I'm feeling. And somehow in their dreams, they're seeing your future. Um, they are having like, this could be daydreams too, like visions is what I'm getting here. Um, but they are very tempted by you. Uh, very, very powerful um, passion and desire that they're feeling for you. Okay, physically here. And emotionally, I feel like this person is literally just feeling that intense pull very very nice okay what else for crystal number three so they're dreaming about you you make them extremely happy you make their wishes come true and they know it they're wanting to offer you their heart and give you what you deserve beautiful and some exciting news coming and i feel for some of you a purchase of a home came through but for some of you i definitely feel it could be feelings here okay trust so they do trust you and they trust what they're feeling for you too okay they know it's powerful and they're trusting in the divine they know they're being guided hmm see they do they know they're being guided they're trusting in the universe here kind of going with the flow very nice okay let's get more mm, wisdom yeah oh and trust on the bottom this is so weird okay spirit bringing it to my attention so for some of you, this is a very powerful message. They want you to know that they do trust in what they're feeling for you, okay? They do know it's real. And this is due to them gaining that inner wisdom, really tapping into themselves, right? And really feeling instead of thinking, they're feeling more. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. 
And let's get one final card out here for crystal number three. What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number three at this time? What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number three? We have, I can't read it upside down. Love makes the difference. Yeah. Your love makes the difference. See, love, Spirit calling me to read this. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Yes, so your love has really helped this person to heal, grow, evolve. They feel it very powerfully too. They feel grateful. Yeah, somewhere in the past, something about self-worth, security, um, you know, fear of rejection, right? So there could have been something in their past where they were feeling rejected and now they're healing from that because of the love that they feel for you, the love between you. So absolutely beautiful. Wow. Okay, crystal number three, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.